What's good, YouTube? We back. I know it's been a while since I made a video, but <clears throat> we're out here in Florida, Cape Coral. Got the 5.0 in the back and the daily in the back. But uh, I wanted to show you guys an update video. Uh, Holly should be here. Holly said about 23rd. I know it's been a while. I've been waiting, but I've had time to prepare more. Got motor mounts coming in, cams, high ram. Uh, what else? Nitrous. Yep introducing nitrous so stay tuned for that but it's going to be a good build just know that um but i'm gonna be showing you guys some new stuff i did to the car since last video we got a really nice mod that we already got put on it's beautiful and i'll show you guys that right now so we ended up going with the rtr led grill and it is tinted obviously and it looks great it looks super aggressive we had no grill before <coughs> excuse me we had no grill before and it is the led one as you guys can see it is so menacing and i'm just glad i bought it it was expensive but you got to pay to play and this is the mod that this car was missing also the headlights weren't bright enough from factory so this helps tip to you guys but yeah <clears throat> the grill was worth it it's pretty much all we've done with the car. I guess I can show you guys the wing too, since it is a new mod, I guess. So I'll show you guys that right now. <clears throat> it is a OEM GT500 track pack or handling pack, I guess. 350 has it, Mach 1 has it, the wicker bill. This has a custom forged carbon fiber wrap. It's super hard to see right now. I don't know if you guys can see it, maybe a little bit, um, but it is dark, so. It looks super nice from the back, obviously. Tinted tail lights look great. Got the carbon fiber deck lid is super hard to see at night too. Uh, I'll turn on the tail lights. Looks super aggressive. You think about tinting the tail lights, it's a good option. But I'm gonna be going with the S650 Euros soon. And I don't exactly know when, but soon. Um, and then, of course, we got our Florida plate over there. Officially Floridians. <clears throat> got the slicks in the back. We're going to be upgrading to Mickey Thompson ET Street R's or SS's soon. Once these are completely done, we move on to those. Hopefully, going to get some skinnies for the front once the Holly is here. The bill kind of just took a pause, except for the grill. So we got the Ferrata FR1s, which you can't even see. It's so freaking dark. Um, but, yeah, so... Stay tuned on the build, guys. It's going to be crazy. Um, might try to go cowl hood, maybe, or lower the engine enough just to fit the high ram. Probably cut into the inside because I really don't care. You know, this is the bucket project car now since we're going to be getting hopefully another car added to the fleet in the next few months, hopefully. Um, but, yeah. So, hope you guys enjoy the video and, you know when the mods are here <clears throat> get back to you guys on that and we are going to be killing the competition best believe that hopefully 200 shot 250 shot um that works with only high ram applications is going to be crazy y'all we finna go crazy on this build it looks already so good as it is uh so make sure you guys stay tuned so make sure you guys stay tuned to the channel like comment and subscribe we love the support over here it's gonna be crazy i'm hoping to set the all time na record so and believe me i will pour as much as i need to to do that because there's all these boosted cars running eights i want to be the first na car to run low nines or high eights so stay tuned y'all love you guys like comment subscribe and we out peace before the video ends also we gotta tell you guys what i'm gonna be running for it i got the p mass um fender well intake for the um, throttle body which is a ported 69 you see the beautiful port job yeah brand new never used before vmp twin 69 newer. it says it on the top there it is 69 you know, so, and I got the uh, fuel line kit for the Holly breathers, the rest of the fuel line kit for the Holly. Um, shout out to, where are they? 
Matt 760. That's where I bought these from. So, you know, good build. You can follow him. And then this is the 6 or 8 a.m. line kit for the Holly. So, that's how you make it work on your Gen 3 Coyotes. I got the whole kit fully optioned out. So, you have everything we need from the Juggernaut Performance and a full 120 millimeter P mass. So, like, comment, subscribe. <laughs> we out for real this time.